Hello students, in the previous video we discussed about key storage backup and actual and the recovery and why we go for key suppression. So in this video let's let continue with the okay, key storage lecture that is the key change here. So the need for key change, why we go for key exchange. Okay, so once the key is generated, you can continue with the same key. But in some situation, we need to go for key changes. These, these are the two situation. One is the planned key changes and another one is the unplanned key changes situation. Planned key changes situation is for example, as I told, for every key is your angle lifetime. So once that lifetime is expired, then you have to go for the next new key here. Then you go for the planned key changes here. One more is the unplanned key changes. Unplanned key changes are the situation. Sometimes that key may be compromised. Okay, key may be compromised means, okay, attacker is get to know that what are the key you are using for to provide the security or that okay in that organization what are the employees are there the employees changed okay they changed to the okay or they transfer to the another organization then that employee will know the what is the key you are used to provide the security for your organization documents in that situation also we have to go for this unplanned key changes and one more is the security loopholes okay attackers will try to what are the mechanism you are used to provide the security so that mechanism is known by the attackers also they know that what is the okay procedure you are used for generating the keys okay that due to overcome from such type of the situation so you can also change the mechanism to generate the keys so then that situation we call as a unplanned key changes these are the two things impact of key changes so as you know that generating the keys and uh, distributing that keys to everyone okay who want that security as a so that security key generation and distributing that key and storaging that key maintenance of the key is also not a easy task here so that's why impact of the key change is also very important here because thing is what it is so once if it is if it is planned key changes it is okay unplanned key changes if it is there it's become the very burden to make the key changes because it is the very difficult task here mechanisms for key changing for changing the keys as i told earlier so if you want to go for the key changing then you have to tell the specification that is whether for which purpose you want a key change whether it is a planned key change or unplanned key changes and next based on that you have to decide that whether you want to okay generate a new key so for generating that key if it is the planned key changes then what is the procedure you are used for generating the keys that procedure you can continue here if it is unplanned as key is compromised or that mechanism is known by the attacker then you have to change the old procedure whatever you are used for generating the key and for distributing that key and for storing that keys here so that is what we call as a mechanism for changing keys here so for changing the keys so as i told earlier changing of the public key pairs okay as we know that you have the two types of the keys okay encryption and decryption key for both if you are using the same key then you call that one as a symmetry key and that symmetry key is much must be okay used in the closed application environments so one more is the okay public key cryptography in that for encryption you are using the public keys and for decryption you are using the private key and knowledge of that public key must be known by the all users whoever want to send the okay message as an encrypted message to the that particular user okay so for example i like want to send a message to the bob here then allies will use the bob public key for encryption so the allies if in okay know what is the public key of the okay box then only allies will able to encrypt that message and allies will able to send that message to bob here then whenever it is received by the bob bob will decrypt that message with the help of the bob private key here so like that okay 
Charlie also want to send the message to Bob here. Then Charlie also know what is the Bob public key and with the help of that public key, oh, okay, Charlie also encrypt the message with the Bob public key and it sends to the Bob here. And Bob will decrypt that one with the help of the Bob private key here. So this knowledge of the public key is very important and this one is known by the all the user. Alice and Charlie if they, they know what is the okay Bob public key then only Alice and Charlie can okay communicate with the Bob here. So knowledge of the public key is known by the this two person. So in that situation as we know that so how you share this key with the this person so public means what it is it is public for only the authorized user if this user have the authentication to use then only you expose okay so those authenticated user have the authority to view this public keys so that knowledge is also very important. Next open application environments as I told. So now this key okay for encryption you are using the public key then that application environment we call as a open application environments. One more is the clone application close application environment like your symmetric key for encryption and decryption if you are using the same key such type of the applications we call as a close application environment and more securely you need to provide the high security to store the such type of the keys here okay so this is about the key change next is the key activation as i told once if a key is generated after generating that key you have to activate that key here for activation also you have to follow the some procedure okay so that procedure what we call we call as a key activation so generation so for that also you require the mechanism with the help of that mechanism you are creating the keys after creating that whoever want to use that key so that users have the authority to use that key so the after using okay after getting that new key they have to activate that for activation also you follow the some mechanism here one is key stored on the computer in the clear so one mechanism is what it is so what are the keys generated that key you can store on the computer in the clear means what it is that key you store as it is so now whenever you want to use what are the procedure you require that procedure is known by the that particular person it is open anyone can activate that key okay which is stored in the computer in the clear form so in that situation what is the thing here as yes, i am the authorized user i have the authority and i can know what is the activation process that activation process is open here okay one more is key stored on the computer in encrypted form so now this key is stored on the computer but it is not in the clear clear means what it is you can't see that key directly so you that key is in the ciphertext okay so if it is in the ciphertext you need to activate that because you need to decrypt then only you can have the procedure to view and you can use that particular key here if it is clear means what it is whenever you get that key you have the it is automatically activated because it is viewed by the all the users wherever it is stored if it is the as it is if it is in the encrypted form activation means what it is is you have the ciphertext form of the key here that data it is in the form of the ciphertext you can't use that key directly what is the procedure you have to follow first you have to decrypt that for decryption that you require the decryption key here with the help of the decryption key you can see what is the key here and that key you can access then here does the activation is based on what it is it depends on your decryption key if you know the decryption key then you can make the use of this key as a key activation key generated on the fly here so as i told earlier dynamic okay so you are using the key mechanism whoever want to use that key just they run that particular procedure okay whenever they generate automatically it generates the key okay that is what we call as a key generated on the fly here key generated on the fly means what key generation algorithms are available whenever you run that algorithm you will get the different keys for each users here but you know that which 
okay algorithm they used and how to run that particular algorithms here next is key stored of the computer it is not stored in the computer if you are storing the keys in the computer one either you can store that key as it is so whoever want to access that one directly they can access and they can use that activation purpose no okay extra thing they need to do here if it is key is stored in encrypted form then if you want to use that key first you have to make activation for activation you have to decrypt that key next one is key stored off the computer you are not storing in the in the computer you are using the any other further models like hardware devices so in the or you can securely transferring okay you are using the private channels or locally you are using okay physically you are communicating with that person and you are sharing the keys here so that is what we call as a key stored off the computer here now you are not using the computer system you are using the different okay devices to store the keys or you can you using the privately you are sharing that keys here okay next is key destruction so this is also very important when we go for the key destruction one is when the key expires so as for the keys you are hang the lifetime so naturally it is also hang the end of the key lifetime that is what we call as a key expires once that key is expires then you have to go for key destruction you have to distract that particular key one more situation is there when the key is withdrawn before it expires it is not expired so then also you want to withdraw that this is what we call we call as a unplanned event here so as i told earlier unplanned event means what it is so if it is compromised the security loopholes or that employee is transferred in that situation also you want to withdraw the key then also you have to distract the key here one more is the at the end of the required period of the key archival as i told earlier so key archival is also before destruction and after expiry also you require the some extension period in that period also you are storing the key as a key archival and after expiring that one you can destruct that key here so these are the three situation where we go for the key destruction and one thing you remember what are the key you are generated that key also you have to compulsory destruct based on the situation this is about your key destruction okay thank you